Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Big Boy Variety. And we're here real quick to talk about, you know, this week of college football. And to be quite honest, aside from, you know, a couple of things, there really wasn't much to talk about. We had games getting canceled again. You know, Baylor just decided to cancel the Houston game again. Um, but there is a bright spot. The Big Ten released their schedule. Um, it'll be that eight games in eight weeks plus another one, you know, for most teams during conference championship week while the top two teams are playing at the conference championship. So there's that. And it's going to be interesting to see, you know, how that all shakes up when it starts in October, late October. Um, but, you know, Notre Dame dominated South Florida. I mean, what, what can you say there? SMU dominated North Texas. What can you say there? You know, I mean, those were two games that I was itching to watch, and they just ended up being blowouts. Um, you know, you thought, you thought Navy, you know, could, you know, you thought Navy was going to, you know, shit the bed again, but it turns out they came back, beat Tulane. You know, they had R line in there. Uh, for the first couple of possessions, and then they put back in Dalen Morris, and he got this team rolling down the field, and they scored 27 unanswered to beat Tulane. As far as Oklahoma State goes, Chuba Hubbard was, you know, he was shut down by the Tulsa defense. Well, the Tulsa defense was, you know, they were fierce, but the offense for Tulsa, oh, the offense. You can't win a game without converting a third down or getting so many penalties, it hurts. You can't do that. You cannot do that. Um, you know, UCF just ran all over Georgia Tech. You know, Georgia Tech kept up with Dylan Gabriel and company first, but, you know, at the same time, they, they just couldn't keep up. They couldn't keep up, and UCF boat raced them for 49 points. And it wasn't even close. Uh, another game that really wasn't close, um, the score might have said, you know, yeah, this was a close game. And that was Miami Louisville. Now we have to suffer through Miami for, you know, for a while because now people are saying, oh, well, Miami's back. Oh my God, calm down. It's just one game, you know, against Louisville of all teams, and Louisville's defense got faked out several times. Um, especially a big, long touchdown play that I saw with the rooster, as they like to call uh, one guy. I forgot his name. Um, De'Ara King played well. Malik Cunningham for Louisville played well, too. And, you know, I mean, it's just like these defenses were nowhere to be found. Now we got to suffer through Miami, Florida State next week in prime time if you want to watch that, you know. But at the end of the day, you know, aside from, you know, a couple of games that really surprised me, especially um, Louisiana, Georgia State, that was an interesting game with the Raging Cajuns were also down, came back, beat Georgia State in overtime. And that was, I, I didn't get to watch that game, but I mean, hey, interesting stuff right there, along with Appalachian State going down to Marshall and just getting stuffed. You know, that Grant Wills kid may be, he may be something special down there in Marshall, so who knows. But, yeah, all in all, another uneventful week in college football. There's nothing really to say right now because there's so much going on that's wrong. But, you know, we have a couple of bright spots. The SEC is coming back next week. Big Ten. Got me back in October. Conference play. You know, it was finally kind of getting started up with conference games. And the race to the national championship is going to be very interesting. So, again, Big Boy Variety out. And I'll see you guys sometime, you know, probably on Tuesday, late Monday night, to recap week one. Week two, yeah, week two of the NFL season. Y'all take care.